What's up, Lancers? My name is Caris Gonzalez, and I went around asking students what they do for Christian service. So where do you do your Christian service at? Um, so for my community-based service hours, I usually sing at um, local convalescent homes for the elderly. Um, I do that like every other week. Uh, I also tutor at St. Louis of France, um, which is like five minutes away from Almont, uh, and I got that opportunity through the CSF tutoring program here from Mr. Fragoso. Um, I also sing at other events such as weddings, festivals, and any other community events that my singing teacher um, allows me the opportunity to sing at. And then for school, I usually use my ASB hours, um, such as like set up and clean up for any rallies or dances or any other school events like that. I also use my choir um, opportunities to like utilize my talents um, in order to put those towards my hours as well. So for example, there's this program called JLC, which is Junior Lancer Choir for any um, kids around local elementary schools that want to learn about the fundament fundamentals of singing, so I mentor for that as well. And for my faith-based hours, I also serve at my parish, St. Martha, every Sunday, and I also go back whenever I can to help any coaches or teachers out with their games or classrooms. I volunteer at St. Martha's. I'm an altar server, and um, what I do is just basically help the church and the priests to like help serve. And, and like what I learned from it is like you help other people and you, you be patient and it's a really great experience and I've been doing it for so many years so yeah. Well I volunteer at the YMCA, I help tutor the less fortunate kids, um, I volunteer at the elderly homes, you know sometimes they just need like someone to talk to, it's in Canoga Park so it's kind of far but they don't really get a lot of visitors out there so I volunteer there, I also volunteer at my church, um, I volunteer on the worship team, in children's church, you know anywhere I'm needed I honestly just want to be the hands and feet of Christ and I just take that seriously not just for service. So Enrique, where do you volunteer at? Well, I'm really involved with my church, and in that I do a lot of lecturing. So in terms of Christian service, that really helps me for when I when I need to fill out hours and when I need to kind of uh, write it and commit it to paper. So I do a lot of that. Um, aside from that, I also volunteer with um, the Knights of Columbus through my confirmation program, and we kind of help them in terms of um, them sponsoring, whether it be um, different essay contests or different breakfasts that they host or different um, dinner events. So what did you learn from doing all this community service? Um, not only did I learn a lot about myself, but I learned a lot about other people and how they react to um, any kind of help that you give them. Uh, everyone always appreciates like any help that you get, so when, every, when any opportunity arises, just jump in and keep yourself involved and help out when you can. So would you recommend it? Yes, yes, I most definitely recommend it. I honestly, okay, if you don't like kids, don't work with the YMCA. I'm not saying like to be mean, but like a lot of them are kind of rude, but like that's because they never really had the opportunity, you know, to be in a nice environment. So you just try to have that love and affection. So I would do that. And I also love um, the elderly home because they're just so nice and they have so many stories to tell and like different cultures. It's just honestly, it's just a really enriching experience. Yeah, of course I do because it's, it's like, you're like like I said like you're helping other people and it's it's really like you have to learn more about your faith and like when you're sitting there and listening to the like gospel and everything like you really open yourself and you really start understanding all like about Jesus and everything. <laughs> what keeps you committed? I think the main thing that kind of keeps me committed is um, remembering that all of this is going to pay off one day and kind of knowing that Doing these acts of service it contributes and helps build my relationship with God and that's just knowing that kind of keeps me going and keeps me motivated. So just knowing that someone's out there, something's out there looking out for you and having that as a foundation for everything, that's just that's been amazing, it's been priceless. My name is Kathleen Vidanez and I'm a senior. Um, I'm Susana Arroyo and I'm a senior. I'm Sayla Kelly and I'm a sophomore. Enrique Valenzuela, sophomore.